Um, here's a word that's been thrown around a lot lately. Greatness, the GOAT, you know, and how do you achieve that? I feel like, and the discussion here at the Spiel has been, oh, well, you just stumble into that, or maybe you're born into that. But let me tell you, very rarely is greatness achieved when it's a great day, when it's an easy walk in the park. That comes through adversity and meeting those challenges in life and not necessarily letting your past define your future, but greatness is accomplished when you come through those challenges, you come through those tough times, and you do something that not only makes a difference, you know, in other people's lives, but also yours. And Prescott Dahl, a fan favorite here at the Spiel, recently took a trip to Indiana to see a lifelong friend, I guess. Yeah. Right? Okay. The, the thing about Prescott that we need to just go ahead and get out there, when Prescott came to interview with us, bow tie mask, sleeves down to here, and I mean like a, a shirt like this, buttoned up, like really clean cut, you know, he's just that very polite young man, his parents have done a great job, and then we had the casual Friday, and he comes in, and I mean he has lovely artwork all over your body. Yep. All over your body. <laughs> now your dad was not a fan, but your mom is okay with it? So, uh, yeah, they're okay with it. But in the beginning, if they could go back, they would probably take those choices of mine away. <laughs> but they're just happy that they look good and right. they're well done. Right. So tattoos, people get them for a number of reasons. You know, whether you're a fan or you're not, some people do it for strength, for encouragement, as a reminder of something. Mm -hmm. What was it for you? Uh, when it started, my first one is just across my chest. You only get one chance to be someone. So it's just like a, a good mantra to live by. Okay. And then ever since then, like all of my friends, like they work in the industry and they were like, hey, you have really cool ideas. I'd like to do that. And then it's just, it just sucked me in. Yeah. Well, there is a really cool friend of yours and we're taking a look now at her shop in Indiana. Um, not only does she have people just lined up out the door to get in, but when she opens her calendar, you say that she's booked within a matter of minutes for months. Yeah, it's just like, she's in such demand. Her work is unparalleled. It's so, it's just unique is the best way to describe it. When you see it, like most people are like, oh my gosh, I've never yeah. seen work like that. And she moves fairly quickly. She gets a lot done in a short amount of time. Yeah, she does. And she's that safe place you talk about that, you know, a lot of women have chosen to go to her because maybe they stumbled into the wrong shop one day and she makes everybody feel comfortable. It's just a shop where you can be you. Yeah. There's no like weird pressure. It's just a laid back environment mm -hmm. and everybody's just happy to be there and they're welcoming you. Yeah. Give her a shout out. What's her name? Her name is Amber Olson, and her tag is Art by Amber Olson okay. and Instagram, and I believe that's her Facebook tag as well. Okay, and she's been featured in like all of the major publications, um, Inked. Yeah, she's been in Inked uh, magazine before, but I know that uh, she's like her popularity on Instagram yeah. has just gotten up there, and I've seen her work like on other people's feeds. And she's using her following and her popularity for a wonderful cause. You know, the line around the building that says a lot because that particular day, a portion of the proceeds went to something pretty darn important. Yeah, so that day it was an event called Still Not Asking For It, mm. and it's ran on the second Sunday in June, and any shop can be a part of it. You just have to register with the event, and the proceeds go towards like the family center in St. Joe, right? and it's for people who have been victims of sexual violence or mm. assault. Mm. And it gives them resources to get the help that they need yeah. to overcome it. And it also raises the level of accountability in communities. That is awesome. I mean, talk about a woman with a talent and now doing, you know, great things um, with that and with those works. And kudos to her. Kudos to you for going to do that and, and film that. And I know your friend is very thankful. Oh, yeah. It Did was... you give her the video? You're like, oh, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm still giving her content. I'm still putting it together. <laughs> All right. Well, we have some pretty cool guests coming up today, some incredible artists. You guys have asked for diversity. You want some young, some older, some different genres. So we're going to have all of that for you.